thought about what we have just witnessed. It is difficult as a speaker uh, to deal with a fact which is on record that a cabinet secretary expected to appear before a House of Parliament is writing to the speaker while the session is on to say he cannot appear. And the reason given is in state house. Mr. Speaker, I will say two things and try to be not too emotional about it. One, Article 132 of the Constitution, functions of the president. The president is accountable to parliament, the president himself, to parliament. Article 153 of the Constitution. The cabinet is accountable to parliament. The speaker, those two articles read together, place the parliament of the Republic of Kenya at such a position that when you are required to appear before either a committee of parliament or a plenary sitting of parliament, then everything else must stop. Mr. Speaker, this is just plain reading of the law. And, and, and you know, when now I see my brother, my very good friend, the Senator of Gericho, who is also the, the, the majority leader, getting emotional and saying that, that Senator Sifuna should be taught a lesson. The speaker, I'm wondering, between Senator Sifuna and the CS for Treasury, who needs to be taught certain lessons? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, just allow me to, to finish. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, this is a serious matter. In fact, Mr. Speaker, this is so serious. And you know what? Let us test our own powers and privileges as parliament. Let us put that to test. Mr. Speaker, you can order the sergeant at arms or the inspector general of police to present the cabinet secretary for treasury here today, this morning. Mr. Speaker, you know, we cannot, we, we cannot say that parliament has been disregarded and every time that we are disregarded, then we, are, we permit those people that disregard the, the Senate to continue doing their things and doing bad manners. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, Senator Cheriot, you should not feel bad when uh, Senator Sifuna says that uh, the CS Treasury is learning bad manners. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, at the sitting of uh, the Senate Business Committee yesterday, what is your point of order regarding what is... Uh, no, I thought you, I, 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 you were giving me an opportunity. No, no. To... You are... Sorry. I, I thought you had concluded. You, you are a very experienced I, member. I, when I am very sorry. When you raise a point of order, you are standing on a point of order. Speaker, I so thought you had concluded. Your point of order? I thought you... Conclude. Then, then, then I'll, I'll have my time if you... If I'm able to catch your eye. He less than, he less <laughs> than a speaker, minute. You know, we, we defer to Senator Aloale, honestly. Surely, I was on my feet. And you're a leader in this house. Mr. Speaker, we are saying you should actually order Masengeli to bring uh, the Treasury CS here in this house. Mr. Speaker. Last year I was saying, Mr. Speaker, I was saying that, you know when Senator Spuna says that the CS Treasury is, is learning bad manners and bad behavior from the Kenya Kwanzaa administration, that is a statement of fact that this, this administration is very ill-mannered. That's what it is. This administration has refused many, many times to appear before this Senate. And we are saying the CS Treasury should not go and when, when, when he was donated by ODM to go and join the government, Mr. Speaker, they, they, they send him there to go and, Mr. Speaker, I'm just finishing. If you bear with me one minute, bear with me one minute, Mr. Speaker, just bear with me one minute. These, these points of order, Mr. Speaker, they don't help. But what point of order on what now? 
What, what is out of order now? Yes, majority. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, just allow me to finish. Just allow me to finish, Mr. Speaker. I have one minute. Just one minute. Even. Yes, majority Linda. You know, I was willing to allow these cheap shots to pass. But you have heard Senator Wambua repeatedly refer to me in his statement saying that I'm defending the indefensible. Yet, I pointed to Senator Sefuna that what better evidence do you need that Kenya Kwanza cabinet ministers respect this house other than the fact that while he was making his complaint, there was a cabinet minister seated here. Therefore, you cannot generalize, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, if you can provide, if you can protect me from the hecklers, Just, I can make my point, Mr. Speaker. The Honorable Senator. But what you are doing is heckling. What better way? Mr. Speaker, it is not a statement of fact what Senator Wambua and Senator Edwin Sifuna are stating, that Kenya Kwanzaa ministers do not honor summons to this house. I have demonstrated that there is one in the house this, this morning, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, if one minister fails to appear, Mr. Speaker, if one minister fails to appear, is it a statement of fact, as Senator Wambua is stating, that Kenya Kwanzaa ministers do not honor summons to this house? I think this minister is almost every cabinet minister has come to this house more than 100 times, Mr. Speaker. You know, half the time, first of all, the minority side began by boycotting this exercise. Senator, they never used to appear. Probably that's why they don't know that ministers Senator, have been coming to this house. Senator, let us uh, make progress now. And my 15 minutes are over. Can you conclude in 30 seconds? You are 30 seconds, Senator Mbua. Mr. Speaker, I was saying, and I conclude, that when the CS Treasury was donated by ODM to Kenya Kwanzaa, I, I listened to the Azimio leader saying that they have been donated to go and teach those people how to do things. They are not supposed to go there and learn bad manners. They are supposed to go there and teach good manners, Mr. Speaker. So it should be produced here in this house. I thank you, thank Mr. You. Speaker. Senator Joyce, Cody. Yeah, 